guys! Today I'm going to make our easiest $5 dinner veggie stuffed shells. You're like, wait a second, where is Kristen? Who is this person? Well, Kristen's on maternity leave. My name is Stephanie. I'm sister number four. I'm filling in for her today. A little bit about me. I live in Southern California with my husband and my five kids. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know, if you are trying to meal plan for your family, we have a free meal planning mini course. It walks you through the steps of how to set up a meal plan for you and your family, and it's free. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find that and let's get cooking. Okay, so let's talk about what is in this recipe. Like I said, $5 dinner, just a few ingredients. So the first thing we have here is some jumbo pasta shells. These are a dollar a box. Then we have diced mushrooms. Depending on where you're shopping and if you're shopping sales or not, you can use fresh or canned mushrooms. They're about a dollar or a dollar 18, depending on where you're at. And then I have a diced onion that I cooked together with this, and the onion was about 50 cents. Next, we have chopped spinach, about a cup. This was frozen. And so I bought this, I drained this, and honestly, it's about a dollar worth of frozen spinach. And then I have a cup of mozzarella cheese. You're only using about half of a bag if you need two cups, so it's about 93 cents, depending on where you're at. And then we also have pasta sauce, and you can get pasta sauce for just over a dollar. So, all together, just over $5. I am also going to add in some olives which you can find olives for like 69 cents a can, so it doesn't bring it that much over $5, but I'm going to add in olives today, and you can too if you like the taste. So the first thing I did, I cooked these jumbo pasta shells, and while they were boiling, they take about 14-ish minutes, depending on the brand. Make sure you read the box. Then, over the stove, and I'm doing it here because my kitchen's shaped like a U, so I didn't want to have to like turn over here and cook these, but I did it while these pasta shells were cooking. I cooked the mushrooms that I talked about and a diced onion, and it took me, oh, they probably came together in about 10 minutes. And this is going to be the base of our filling for these shells. So we have mushrooms, then we're going to add in the spinach. This has been thawed and drained. Try and drain it as well as you can. You wanna make sure you get all that moisture out so you don't have soggy insides of your shells. Then olives, these are just black olives. Again, I actually had these already in my pantry, so I felt like it was a sunk cost, and I didn't feel bad about adding those. And then we have the mozzarella cheese. So this is it, this is what your inside filling is made of. Then you're just going to take these cooked jumbo pasta shells and then you are going to scoop a little bit of this mixture into every pasta shell. You are going to bake them in a nine by 13 pan. So in the bottom of this pan, I am putting half of the 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce. And then you are going to fill each shell and then line the entire nine by 13. Usually when I make this recipe, I usually get about 20 shells full, but I like to be extra generous. Okay, so I filled up all of my shells and as usual, somehow I always end up with 20 stuffed shells. So if each person gets four, you can serve five, honestly, these are pretty hearty shells. So once you've filled your entire nine by 13 pan, then you're going to take the rest of the pasta sauce. So half of it was on the bottom, then the other half we're putting on the top. You just want it a little more sauce on top. The last thing you want is dry pasta. Then we are going to cover this. Ooh, sorry about that. Also, you can probably hear my children running and screaming in the backyard outside, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too much, but cover it. You're going to bake this at 375 degrees for 25 minutes. Once it's done, you're going to pull it out, take the foil off, and then cook it for five more minutes just to kind of 
like really get those brown crispy edges, especially with the cheese in the middle. And so that's what we're gonna do. This is what they look like when it's all done. And I have a kitchen helper here who's gonna help me test it out. You wanna test it? What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> if you're looking for more easy recipes just like this one, you can check them out here.